A pulsed light apparatus or a flash lamp system gives off a high powered beam of natural light. The beam shines very briefly or pulses. Knowing which type of light beam is being emitted is essential to the efficient use of the apparatus and to guarantee the safety of the patient. The pulsed light apparatus is made up of four parts. A generator that stocks the electric energy in a capacitor or condenser box. An air or water dry driven cooling system for the lamp. A control panel that allows the user to operate the apparatus. An applicator that delivers the light beam. The applicator is placed on the patient's skin and it transmits the light energy from the apparatus to the skin. Pulsed light is often confused with laser. While the basic technology is similar, the composition of the beam of light is totally different. It's true that in both cases the origin of the light energy is found in a lamp called a flash lamp. This lamp contains a special gas, usually xenon. With laser technology, the light beam travels through very sensitive solids or liquids that will allow us to separate out a single wavelength of the initial beam and then amplify its original energy level. The word laser is the abbreviation of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiations. Pulsed light technology, however, works in the opposite way, meaning it is neither controlled nor amplified. The characteristics of the two types of beams are as follows. A laser is a monochromatic light source which means it has only one color or wavelength. Pulsed light is polychromatic, which means it is composed of several colors or wavelengths. A laser beam is coherent, meaning all its waves are identical in length and synchronized with each other. A pulsed light beam is incoherent because it is made up of waves of various lengths. And lastly, the laser beam is focused, meaning it is concentrated on a small surface. Whereas pulsed light can treat wider surfaces simultaneously. Pulsed light is emitted in bursts that last a few milliseconds called pulses. The pulse duration must be adjustable. The energy from the light beam is called fluence and it is measured in joules per square centimeter. In dermatology there are four principal types of lasers in common use. Ruby, Alexandrite, Diode and YAG. Together these four lasers represent only four wavelengths, whereas pulsed light on its own can cover a spectra of about 150 times as broad.